Oh, f here we go again. Watch, who's there? Maybe if I whisper, you won't hear me. I can hear you, God. I have some questions for you. God? Narachi, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but I'm not God. Then who are you? <sighs> I'm the narrator. So you're the guy that reads books to children? I mean, that was my part-time job, but that's not why I'm here. Tell me why you're here before I shoot you out to my brain. Are you really that stupid to try? You could bet on it. Well, that was a dumb question. I'm here to narrate your backstory. Just like you did with your, no? How the hell did you hear about that? He was mumbling in his sleep and started spewing out his innermost secrets. Like the time he almost sucked a- Whoa, that's too much information. Let's just get on with the narration, shall we? We? I thought it was you. Whatever. Narancha saw his mom die from pink eye and he was worried he was going to get it too. Then he turned to a life of crime, dyed his hair blonde, and went to juvie. He ended up getting pink eye and was living on the streets. Fugo came by and decided he was worth a damn and he ended up joining the mafia with Bruno. Are you done yet? Yep. Bye. Now I can start shooting up the place. Oi, Narancha! You almost got me, but you've shrunk it down to the size of a mouse! What? That means my Aerosmith is practically useless! Why the hell do I have to deal with this guy? Fugo's gonna have to owe me for this one! Now where did that great tennis ball bounce off to? <laughs> Looks like I found me a nice little mouse in my trap! Since you've got some time on your hands, tell me where Bucciarati and the girl are! Or you die! Kill me then, you Swiss cheese bastard! Wrong answer! Ah! We don't have to go through this, Narancha! Just tell me where they are! That girl has nothing to do with anything! She just likes makeup, magazines, and annoying the f out of everyone! You're telling me she's a burden? Oh, you have no idea! You do know that I know she's the boss's daughter, right? It seems like I wasn't informed. Did you know that she might also be a stand user? Well, I guess that makes sense. Can't you believe that it's not butter? What's not butter? This Southern Black Widow! I can't believe that's not butter. Soon you'll end up being spider food, and I'll be on my way on becoming my own boss. Let me out of this bottle, you green-eyed bastard. Not until you tell me where they are located. That's not going to happen. Then enjoy being eaten alive. The spider may be quick, but my ship is even quicker. Ah! When did he get a shiv? Looks like the stabbing didn't work. Now I'm getting all webbed up. Are you going to tell me now? Let me think about it. No. Hold on a second. I might not need you after all. It's a map that will tell me where they are located. So they're at a vineyard about 14 miles outside of town. What a time to be alive. Hello, spider. Please f*** off. Narancha. Before you die, do you have any last words? Burn, baby, burn! What the hell did you just say? Disco Inferno. What? Oh, shit. Never underestimate the power of retardation. Oi, Narancia, you mind calling the fire department because I'm burning to death? I don't think I will. Suit yourself, tidy feet. Great. Now he's disappeared into Miniland, and I have no idea where he could come from. Maybe I could find him with my Aerosmith. Narancia won't be able to find me because he's a pyromaniac. I'll just wait until he leaves. Well, if I can't find him with the Aerosmith, then I'll just blow up the place. Now the entire street looks like a Californian wildfire. Did you really have to set everything on fire, you bloody wanker? Now if you've made me very angry and you won't like me when I'm angry. Bring it on, Burning Man. Tiny feet! Not this time. Well, shit, I guess you're the better stand user after all. Damn right I am. The only problem is I'll be coming home empty. Why did we let this imbecile go shopping alone again? It didn't get anything on the list. Oh boy, Narach is going to get his ear torn apart by her. I think it's time we leave this place. If only Narach listened to my instructions, you moron. Hey now, I think Narach did a great job at stopping the enemy. I believe he did everything he could have done. Including catching everything on fire. Especially that. Thank you, Jorno. No problem, boy girl thing. Who died and made you the boss? Nobody, I'm just giving some advice on how about you stop doing that? I just think we should wait for a message from the boss. Guys, I think we got a message from the boss. See? Perfect timing. If I could just smother him in his sleep. <laughs>
Permission not granted. Damn it. What does the message say, Bucciarati? That we need to head to Pompeii Park and find a key under a dog painting thing. Oh, that's pretty straightforward. The key is supposed to be used for a vehicle to transport Trish to the boss. I wonder what kind of vehicle it is. A helicopter. It must be a key for a helicopter. Did you hit your head on something, Narancha? I might be delirious from the spider venom. An hour is enough time to go over there and get the key. Fugo, Abakio, Giorno, <coughs> you three are going to go there and get the key. Mr. Narancia and I will stay here to protect Trish. Do I have to go there with Giorno? Certainly. I'm going to regret this. May I also put in a complaint towards Giorno? Guys, Giorno isn't that bad. He's just a little different in the head. Flow like a french fry, sting like my pee. <laughs> Giorno, can you stand over there for a second? Sure thing. Listen, I know he's a pain in the ass sometimes, but that doesn't mean he hasn't done good for the team. Just make sure he doesn't screw everything up, all right? Yeah, all right. Can I yell at him some more? As long as you don't hit him. Fine. All right, Jorno, you can come back over here. Awesome. Now get your asses over to Pompeii Park. I'm counting on you guys. Hey, Jorno, do you want to hear about my backstory? Why not? I grew up in a mansion, but my parents were overbearing, which caused me to go into fits of rage. Then, when I went to college at age 13, my professor wanted to molest me, so I beat the shit out of him. My parents made sure I wasn't guilty, but I was disowned and I decided to live on the streets. I was caught not paying my bill at a restaurant, but Bruno decided he wanted my intellect in his new group he was forming. And that's how I became a part of the crew. So you didn't have to fight Bruno to join? Yeah, of course not. Why would I have to do that? Well, never mind. Also, you were supposed to turn right there instead of turning left. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me sooner? Are you trying to piss me off? Hey, Fugo, don't worry about it. Just get to the destination. I know. I think Jorna was intentionally trying to piss Fugo off, but I have no idea why he did that. I still don't understand why Bruno trusts him, but I have to focus on making sure this mission is a success. So this is Pompeii. I haven't been here since I was a kid. No time for sightseeing. We need to get the key. It will take us about half an hour to get the stuff and get back to the hideout. There's someone following us, so I better warn the others. Guys, don't be alarmed, but I think someone is following us. How many are there? One, and he's behind the pillar. Which pillar? The one behind us. Fugo, there's a pillar, but there's no one there. There, he's walking towards us right now. Fugo, are you sure you're not just seeing things? Yes, I'm sure I saw him in the mirror. Here he comes. Has Fugo lost? Lost his mind? Wait a minute, he's inside the mirror! Guys, get away from the mirror! Giorno, Abacchio, Dre, now I'm here all by myself! Who said you were here all alone? What? I'd say that was a pretty good punch for what it's worth. Where the hell are the others? Why don't you check your watch? Huh? Why is the clock backwards? Don't tell me this is some sort of mirror world. I see you're using that university education to good use. That means I'm inside the mirror. Once I take you down, your friends will be next. Fugo. Where are you, Fugo? Hey, Giorno, do you know what happened? I have no idea. Typical. I have a hunch that mirror over there has something to do with Fugo's disappearance. What's the deal with this mirror? Great, now I have Giorno talking to himself. I can't wait until I get to yell at him some more. Where's the girl located, Fugo? And why are you here snooping around in the great city of Pompeii? Tell me your purpose for being here. I refuse. Then die. No, you'll be the one dying when you see my stand. Violet Dust. Huh? Where the f*** is my stand? Your stand's name is Violet Dust. <laughs> Why can't my stand appear? Does it have something to do with this guy's stand ability? Uh, Giorno, slowly walk towards me. Huh? Slowly what? Don't be a dumbass and just get over here as quickly as possible. What is that thing behind me? If you really want to know, that's Fugo's stand. Now get over here before it tries to attack you. Hurry up. Are you starting to understand why you are in here with me? If they came in here with you, they would put me in danger. Since I control the inside of the mirror, we are the only living things inside. Now taste the wrath of my mirror man. Maybe I can use violent dust from outside the mirror world to put up a fighting chance. Fugo's stand, by far, is the scariest stand I have encountered so far. It even has rabies. Violet dust is okay, which means that Fugo is okay. But where the hell is he? Further back, Giorno. Why is he so worried about Fugo's stand? 
<laughs> Giorno, we need to get out of here. The stand has gone mad. We can't leave here. We have to figure out the mystery behind the mirror. Shut the hell up, you little shit. Honestly, I don't care if you die or not, but I'm giving you a free warning since you don't seem to understand the situation. <laughs> It punched the wall. Run, Giorno. I see that you activated your stand outside the mirror, but that won't do you any good. <laughs> In this world, I rule it. There's not a single thing you could do to prevent me from beating the hell out of you. A crow? Why did that fall from the sky? What the hell is going on here? It died because of a killer virus. This is the power of Fugo's stand. A virus? Take a look at its hand. When one of those capsules break, it unleashes the virus that spreads by air, which kills you in 30 seconds. The virus doesn't care who you are. You all die the same. What's Violet Dust's range? Five meters. What's the range of the virus? Whatever this distance is because the virus dies when it's exposed to sunlight. So what are we supposed to do? Stay away from it. <laughs> What's it doing? It's trying to clean itself because it's retarded and drools a lot. Fugo really got screwed on getting a stand. <laughs> You weren't kidding when you said it's retarded. Reminds me about another guy in our group. Hey, are you talking about me? Well, aren't you quick to the draw? It looks like it's flailing around again. I don't think these attacks are random at all. The mirror is the key to all of this. So you attack the mirror from the outside? So what? My mirror world won't let the virus in, so your plan was doomed to fail from the start. Come on, guys. Did you even get my message? Let's get out of here, Giorno. Nah, I'm gonna stay here and help Fugo. He needs our help, so I'm not going to abandon him. Is this bastard trying to make a fool of me? Go ahead, Giorno. Get yourself killed for all I care. <laughs> I sure hope I can live through this. Let's get back on topic. What are you looking for here? I'm not gonna tell you anything. Would you tell me if I gave you a sandwich? What can what kind of sandwich? A knuckle sandwich. Why did you think that would make me tell you anything? It didn't. I just like punching people. <laughs> what a dickhead. But take one good look at me. It's the last thing you'll see before you die. Tell me why you're here before I shoot out you. Oh, God. Shooting people out of brains. Looks like I found... Oh, God. We don't chapter... Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jor... Oh, God. Thank you, Jor... <laughs> Fuck's sake. Ah! If I could just smother in his sleep. Ah. May I also put in a complaint for Jorno? Elusive voice, take one. Who said you were here all alone? 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 I'm Michael Jackson. Who said you were here all alone? Who said you were here all alone? I'm Alan Rickman. What's the deal with this mirror? Why can't my stand appear? Does it have something? Oh, God. <laughs> Shut the hell up, you little shit. Honestly, I don't care if you die or not. I'm on the Hello. Hey. Hey, I'm Weiss. Weiss, I'm an angel.